Students from all over the Midwest are in Carbondale this weekend to take part in a winter tradition. Polar Bear is back for its 15th year, full of plenty of loved and criticized festivities. News 3's Craig Schote has more on the event's history. It all started years ago with one phone call. Now it's an event that draws people from all over the United States and a way for students to catch up with friends after winter break. It's the weekend many SIU students look forward to. We're going into our second week of school and this is a good way to kick off the semester. Even bringing in people from other colleges and universities to Carbondale. I visited a couple times and it's always really fun coming here. So, and I've never been. She's been here. So yeah. I'm looking to see what it's all about. Pinchpenny Pub owner James Carianis says Polar Bear gives a boost to the economy in Carbondale. It's definitely a stimul stimulus for the community. It's definitely extra income for us, and we're, we're happy to be a part of it. Um, but it's, it's, it's not all just making money. Despite some criticism of the event, Kirianis says it puts SIU on the map. And for a while, you know, we didn't want a party reputation. Then we didn't have any reputation. That's the worst reputation is no reputation, you know. I mean, it, bad or good, at least you have something to hang your hat on. He says it's changed drastically since its beginning. The idea sparked when Kirianis got a call from Corona. The company was looking for a way to grow sales during the slow winter months. And we started with uh, an afternoon thing only on, on a Friday. Now it's a, an all-day thing on Saturdays. But for some students, there's more to it than just alcohol. Some people come out and drink, you know, you have your real crazy partiers, but a lot of us like just to socialize. Kirianis admits that the event has evolved into something they never imagined, but he says this weekend will boost his business three or four times more than homecoming weekend. In the studio, Craig Schott, News 3.